Okay, so a lot of you are looking at this problem saying, well, no one should get this thing wrong because this is super easy. Uh, you know, it's just basic math. Anyone can do this problem. Well, not so quick. A matter of fact, a lot of you are going to do this wrong. A matter of fact, you might do this basic problem incorrectly, but let's go ahead and find out. So without the aid of a calculator, go ahead and tell me the answer of 40 divided by 10 times 2. Matter of fact, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I will show you the correct answer here in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to explain uh, why people would do a problem like this incorrectly. I know it is shocking, but uh, what I'm going to be talking about here is one of the most confused things of all of mathematics and uh, especially basic math. So I'll get to all of that in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And uh, it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's see how strong your basic math skills. Again, I know it's shocking that someone would actually get this problem wrong. Well, let's see if indeed you did it right. So the answer is what? Well, I have two answers here. One is right and one is wrong. Someone is going to get this nice little happy face in A+. Plus. Who is it? Is it the person that got A2? Well, no, it's actually the person that got an 8. So those of you that got the 8, uh, well, I'm going to give you a 100% and multiple stars to go along with your A+, plus, so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the order of operations. That's what we're talking about here. But uh, if you got a 2, okay, or another answer, please don't despair. Matter of fact, I'm happy you made this error because uh, it's going to give me an opportunity to get this kind of cleared up once and for all. Again, this is a very confused uh, part of mathematics. It's not that difficult. You just really have to have it explained to you correctly. And let's go ahead and get into the explanation now. Okay, so we're talking about what uh, I said the, uh, is the order of operations. Now, in mathematics, we have these things called mathematical operators. It's basically what we can do with numbers. So let's say I had uh, 2 and 7. What can we do with those two numbers? Well, you can add them, you can subtract them, multiply, divide. You can even take powers with those numbers. And these things here are called mathematical operations. These are actually mathematical operators. So in a problem, when we have different mathematical operations, we need to be able to know, understand and know what is the correct order uh, to do a math problem where there's different operations. So here we have division and here we have multiplication. Now, it should be obvious that if we just kind of take one order versus another order, a, a different order, we're going to get different answers, right? So here, if I decide to go, hmm, let's see here, I'll just do this first. This looks pretty easy, 10 times 2, that's 20. Then I have 40 divided by 20, and that answer is 2, right? Which, of course, is one of the answers here. But this is uh, wrong, okay? Now, why is doing multiplication wrong here, uh, why should I have to do division first? Well, this is why we need to understand the correct order of operations. And we can remember remember it by this phrase here, PEMDAS, right? This phrase has been around for decades and decades. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure my great grandparents were even saying this phrase. But uh, to help you remember uh, PEMDAS, and of course this stands for something, I'll explain all this in just one second. There's a nice, lovely little memory aid a phrase that goes along with this, and that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'll say it one more time. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So I'm not sure what Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her cool little phrase. Okay, so PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You want to ingrain this into your long-term memory. This is our checklist for the order of operations, and these letters stand for something. Of course, I'm going to explain what they are uh, right now. But before I do that, this checklist goes from left to right. Okay, it's always from left to right. So now let's go ahead and get into uh, what these particular letters stand for. All right, so the uh, P 
stands for parentheses. Okay, so if you see uh, things in parentheses or brackets or even these kind of little squiggly brackets like this, these are technically what we call grouping symbols. We're kind of grouping or clustering uh, together um, some uh, math operations. We can kind of cluster them together or group them together with these symbols, parentheses. So if we see parentheses in a problem, okay, we're going to focus our attention there first. All right, now E uh, is basically powers, okay? So if we have two to the third power, that's what E stands for. Now you might be saying, well, E, you know, why don't they just put another P there? Well, that would be kind of confusing, uh, but let's just kind of uh, clarify this. So two to the third power, the three here is called the exponent, this little three here, this part of the power, and this bigger number down here is called the base. So a power, like two to the third power, has two parts to it, this exponent and this base. So this E right here stands for exponent, but you can kind of think of this as powers. Okay, so now let's talk about what M, D, A, and S stand for. So you might be thinking to yourself, what does M stand for multiplication, D, division, A, addition, and S, subtraction? And you would be correct, okay? That's what M, D, A, and S stand for. So somebody might be saying, well, okay, well, Mr. YouTube Math Man, if uh, you know, you're telling me this is a checklist and it's going from left to right, the next thing on our checklist would be M. So we should do the multiplication here before division, right? So I know a lot of you are like, oh, this guy did this wrong. You know, he doesn't know what he's doing. You're probably like, yeah, right here. I know because M becomes before D. Nope, nope, nope. That is not the way PEMDAS works. So let's go ahead and clear up this con um, a very common um, place of confusion when it comes to the order of operations. So P first, E second. Now, the next thing on this checklist is M and D, okay? So it's multiplication or division, okay? Multiplication or division, whatever we see first from left to right. So if we see multiplication, then division like this, where uh, we have multiplication first from left to right, we would do it in this order, multiplication, then division. But if we have division, then multiplication, we see division first, okay? So we're gonna do this. So this is why we uh, need to do this part of the problem uh, first, okay? So if you got this wrong, do not uh, despair. Don't feel bad. This is a very, very common uh, error when it comes to the order of operations. So that's how M and D work, and A and S, addition and subtraction, work the same way. It's whatever we see first from left to right. Okay, so now that we understand PEMDAS, we can now uh, do this problem pretty easily. So going down here, we're saying, all right, so uh, let's see. Do we have any parentheses? No, okay. Do we have any powers? Uh, don't see any powers there, boom. Do we, now I'm considering multiplication and division. Do I have any multiplication division? Yes. What do I see first? I see division before multiplication. So we're gonna do division first. All right, so now the rest of this problem is going to be basic arithmetic, 40 divided by 10 times two, pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and take the next step to solve this basic problem. But before we do, I would love for you to take the next step and just subscribe to my channel. Don't even think about it, because uh, you're, if you're with me this far into the uh, video, that must mean that you're getting some sort of value out of this. So if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and, and uh, uh, that notification bell so you can get my latest content. If you're interested in learning mathematics, uh, you know what I like to pride myself on, what I try to do is explain math in a non-textbook way and try to bring you decades of my experience to try to really make learning math as easy as possible, clear and understandable. And I teach from basic to advanced math on my channel. But anyways, back to the problem. So now that we understand the correct order of operations, this is super easy. And so we got 40 divided by 10, that is four. So now we have four times two. There's nothing uh, uh, more to do in this problem other than this multiplication. So four times two, of course, is eight. Okay, so if you got this wrong, to me, this is a victory, okay? So this is still a win-win situation, whether you got this right or wrong. Now, some of you could have did this correct, but you may just got a little lucky. You just said, you know, it looks kind of interesting. I'll just kind of, you know, go from left to right. Um, and, you know, you, maybe you just kind of did it and you kind of lucked out. And that's, you know, that's okay, but we don't want to get lucky in math, right? Uh, what we want to do is have absolute certainty. 
in what we're doing. Now, if you need additional help with the order of operations, let me give you a couple of suggestions here. And you definitely want to practice much more challenging problems than this problem. Okay, this is a basic level problem. So a couple of things. One, I have a ton of additional videos on the order of operations on my uh, YouTube channel. So you can check those out. But if you want to kind of more formally learn basic math, uh, to include the order of operations, let me suggest two courses in my math program. You'll find a link to both of these in the description. One is my Math Foundations course. That's a little mini course, kind of little boot camp for basic mathematics. Uh, so that's a um, you know great little course for those of you that are kind of getting back into math. I also teach this in my pre-algebra and algebra one course. So if you're at those levels, you can check that out as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.